Hello, welcome to another new world video. Uh, today I'm gonna do more like a beginner uh, video for like people who's really really new to MMORPG, like a uh, people like me like never played a game like that. I mean, maybe I did, but before that, you know, like yeah, like the new era of MMORPG. I never had them. I never played WoW. I never played like Lost Ark, right? So. Yeah, so I will dedicate myself to make more new world videos because I enjoy the game so much. So I hope this uh, tips for like literally beginner people, like literally new to MMORPG as well. So uh, let's get right into it. So first thing that I noticed is that I thought you can fast travel all the time. So yeah, jokes on you. You can only fast travel to the inn of the town once. So every hour. If you use it, you have to wait another hour. So keep in mind for those who are really new to the game, you only can use your recall to in once. But you can use the another kind of uh, fast travel, like there's a blue color stone to it. You know, if I can find an image, I'll put it on the screen. Um, yeah, that's where you can teleport using Azov. That's that's like another currency that you can use. Yeah, I will just maybe explain it next in, in the next video maybe So keep that in mind if you're a beginner you don't have a much as off as well Just use the recall to in which is available for one hour only right, Second tip is that uh, If you are so worried about the faction changes like you don't know which faction to join Don't worry about that. You can change that like every 120 days so if you don't like this faction or you think that's the dominant faction just change it from there just change it like after 120 days all right no no worries no problem is at all just don't work just just don't be afraid to pick one in the beginning okay third tips is that i want to say is that you can take multiple quests at a time sub quest main quest like uh the town's bot quest like all the quests that you can do like all of them Right? You, you don't have to like do one by one. I'm so stupid. I take like, oh, town bought one quest, then the, then the faction one quest. That I'm so dumb, okay? I, I knew that like after playing for a few hours. So don't be dumb. Take all the quests you can so you can get more EXP. Do the entire run for all your quests as much as possible and make use of your recall in. Because you only can recall back to the in once. Unless you use fast travel, okay? Uh, using the Azov. So I would just do uh, all the quests if I can, except the main quest if you don't want to. Then yeah, just do all of it. Recall to in, collect all your your rewards. Okay. Off tip, I would say is that I think this is a very funny thing, but I think I I feel it's kind of useful in the beginning. Is that when you try to fight something, two hits. And dodge using the shift, shift button. Two hits, two hits. Oh my god, I can't speak. Two hits and dodge. Two hits and dodge. That's like the most uh effective way in the beginning, I would say. Because sometimes they do have different patterns, but still, two hits and dodge is still the way to keep your HP high. Just don't tank everything, especially if you put all your stats into strength, stats into all into dexterity, dexterity you know, like. You don't have any stats for constitution maybe so that would be a bad choice so two hits and dodge is like the go-to uh which helps me a lot in my journey so oh yeah it doesn't work for a lot of mobs so only like one mob not like an entire mob okay fifth tip uh i'm not sure is this even a tip i would say that this game has fall damage all right a lot of people are like hey if you play this kind of games, you should see whether we have a fall damage. Yes, we do. But it's not as heavy as like Genshin or something, right? So you still can jump down from like high places. Maybe get your your HP like half, I don't know. But so far, I never jumped from tall places. Because you can like, like jump on rocks and like climb up. So the damage is not that much. So be mindful where you jump, okay? Don't die for no reason. Tip number six. I would say that potions you can just farm you don't have to buy them you know the weak you call it weak health potion 
or maybe rations that you can cook those are like the food so there's like two difference for this potions you can use like recover your health right away uh but there's a cooldown for it but the rations you can eat but you cannot get hit by anything or else the recovery is gonna stop so yeah you can just go farm all the things you want for like uh ball rush i think the ball rush is for the, the you know the ingredients to make potions and we farm like animals turkeys you know dough like yeah meat and cook for rations uh so that's how you get your potions and your rations seventh tip i would say that the uh, the camps right so if you travel like few kilometers away usually i mean in the beginning of the game you don't travel that long but usually uh it's gonna be like one or two kilometers so i would suggest that if you can in the middle you want to go to that place that far like in the between places try to make camps just in case if you die you don't have to go all the way back all right so make sure you have enough supplies of uh flint and also green wood uh, yeah i think that's that's what i call so make sure to keep in mind if you're traveling far away and like especially if you're low level if the mobs like high level saw you you whack your ass and you die right away so make sure you make camps like maybe after 500 meters make one camp another 500 meters make like another camp just to get to that place like safer i would say at least you don't die and go all the way back to the town again okay eighth tip i would say uh your equipments uh your equipments you do need to repair them so just don't forget about them i as by far i do not have experience of breaking my my equipments yet so i'm not sure if they are break they are gone or they are break that you're not usable i don't know so maybe the chat can tell me right in the comments down below because i i can't access the beta anymore it's over so i'm making videos out of it out of beta so yeah so make sure you repair your equipments regularly all right ninth tip i would say is that everything gives you exp like harvesting chopping trees killing animals uh like whatever you do in game is giving you esp i know i'm not sure i'm not sure is this even a tip you know uh so make sure just keep doing stuff and just gonna get exp R makes sense right just play the game get exp i'm not sure if this is even a tip i'll just put it as a tip all right that maybe for people like me who never play mmorpg doesn't know okay last tip for this video uh i would say that you can turn on uh you know pvp mode for the extra 10 percent if i'm not mistaken you get 10 percent more exp uh in return for turning on pvp mode uh what does pvp mode is like the people from different factions when they saw you outside of the town they can attack you uh but the good thing is that when you die you don't have penalty so that's what i thought right so as as far as i know there's no penalty to it so if you want to farm exp just turn on your pvp mode and do all your fighting okay um if you don't want to turn on a pvp mode it's it's okay all right maybe you think like you're going somewhere far and you you got pvp'd by someone and you die then yeah that sucks right so that depends on you if you want to farm exp i think it would be best to turn on the pvp mode all right hope i hope i i actually help somebody with these tips i know there's a lot more tips and guides that are better than my videos so i'm trying to improve my content about new world i'm gonna keep uploading i hope i can keep on uploading more information i can give to people okay so i hope you guys subscribe to my channel i'm hitting 1000 i hope i hit 1000 by end of this year and i hope they will not delete the game again oh god yes uh it's end of the month i hope they're coming out very soon and i don't i can't wait to play the game okay so check me out as well in twitch um i'm gonna stream this game probably very often on stream so if you want help with maybe some stuff or maybe even help me out come to the stream okay and as always thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye